Mr. Okafor, uh, the doctor is not on site. Huh? What about the other nurses? They are busy. Hi. What okay. can I do for you? Mm, when will the doctor or any of the other nurses be available? I don't know. Just tell me what your problem is. I'm the only one that can tell you. Ah. It's my baby over there. She's been complaining of a stomach ache for the past few days. And we've tried all these common drugs, but she's not getting any better. And uh, who is this lady? Um, her name is Matilda. She's my baby. What exactly do you mean your baby? I need to know your relationship with her. That is the procedure. What nonsense procedure? You see, that is why I want the doctor or any other nurse to attend to me. So if it were an emergency, you will stand there and be asking stupid questions about my relationship with the patient? Well, that is going to be a different case. This is not an emergency. Just tell me what I need to know so I can treat your baby. Oh, Kafa, what is the problem now, eh? Oh. Uh, baby, 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 just relax. Take it easy, eh? Easy, it's okay. Is this nurse who is trying to be a busybody as usual? She will not mind her business. Mr. Kafa, uh -huh. did she just call you by your name? And what's your business if she calls me by name? It's my name, not Okafa. Won't you just do your job, mind your business, and stop closing into some other people's affairs? Huh? Uh, Mr. Kafa, uh -huh. good afternoon. Uh -huh. What's the problem? Thank you. Better nurses. Better nurses. Um, it's my baby. My baby here. She's not been feeling too fine and um, she needs medical attention. Okay. Um, please come with me. Correct. Correct. You see, that is what a well-trained nurse should say. Politely. Please, come with me. I'm not stand there and be asking stupid questions about what is not your business. Oh, baby. Let's go and see the doctor. Baby, baby, easy. Baby, easy. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, stop eating, stop eating. Sorry. This is very funny. What happened to me, Mr. Kamala? I'm suspecting this girl is one of Mr. Okafor's mistresses, and I think she's pregnant for him. A big girl. What? When did your eyes become a pregnancy detecting machine? That is one. I'm telling you something. I beg. Leave it to Clinic Matters. Keep watching. So, <clears throat> when exactly did the stooling start? About four days ago. Can you remember the last meal you had before the stomach ache? So I can't remember exactly. How can you say you can't remember exactly? Doctor, the stomach ache started after we left the Chinese restaurant where she tested virtually everything they had. And maybe lizard was given to her as meat. Is it true you tried some new food? Yes, doctor. I did. But I didn't eat lizard. Don't mind, look careful. Uh, uh, how would you know whether you ate lizard or not when it was spiced with onions and tomato? And the names of the food are even sounding very funny, like incantations. Names like Egbuja, Kettle in the Making, Tomato on the Run, Mountain in the... Ah, ah. <laughs> and I was wondering how, but you will not listen to me. Mr. Okafo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I think you just had too much to eat. You'll be fine. Thank okay? you, Doctor. So, Mr. Okafo, who exactly is uh, Matilda to you? Oh, Matilda. She's my baby. <laughs> Mr. Okafo, I need this information for record purpose. So I need to know what you mean by my baby. Uh, she's my... I'm his mistress, doctor. Bam. Mistress. Doctor, please, um, take care of me. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, baby. The doctor on the highway shot. 
She said it without any atom of shame or guilt. I don't blame this small girl. It is that shameless man called Mr. Crawford that I blame so much. I wonder how his wife copes so. Because I can't imagine any man bringing such insult on me. If I had my way, I would report him to his wife. You have no right to do that. Eh, I know has the right to. See, the woman might not even know her husband is this irresponsible. She needs to know. She needs to be told. That person must not be you. Mr. Kafo is our customer. I mean, let's be professional and just mind our business. Yes, sir. I hate that Mr. Okafo with so much passion. Eh? I heard my name. Come, you guys are gossiping about me, eh? We are not gossiping about you. We are only analyzing your irresponsible and shameless acts. Eh? What's your headache? Ah, look, don't just insult me today. Don't insult me. Or else, I will report you to the doctor. I see if I care. So, Mr. Okafo, you're not carrying small, small girls that are young enough to be your daughter, eh? You should be sued for child abuse. Eh? That is the height. I am reporting you to the doctor right now. No, no, Sabigail, what? I told you to be professional and just do your job, eh? And leave Mr. Kafo to live his life the way he pleases. I beg you, let him go and report now. Irresponsible thing. He's going to the doctor. So? I beg. Oh, rubbish. So you have decided to start disrespecting our lawyer customers? No, sir. I didn't disrespect any of our customers. So what happened between you and Mr. Okafo? Nothing. Abigail. Sir. You were employed here to take care of ill patients because that's where your salary comes from. You have to be very careful the way you get involved in things that it's not your business. The girl Mr. Okafo came in here today is young enough to be his daughter and she keeps calling him by his name. Uh -huh. So? So how is it your business? Even if the girl calls me Ewu or Malu? Yes. What is your business? Is that enough reason for you to start disrespecting Mr. Okafo? You see, the problem with you is that you keep poking your nose into other people's affairs. But I can't pretend to be happy about this, especially when I know Mr. Okafo. That is busy body. Mind your business. Now, when next Mr. Okafo or any other patient complains to me about you, you'll be in big trouble. Now I apologize to Mr. Okafo. <clears throat> you heard me. Sorry, Mr. Okafo. Uh -uh, uh -uh. That is not how to apologize. Sorry is different from I am sorry. So say I am sorry, Mr. Okafo. Say it. You heard him. I'm sorry, Mr. Okafo. That's better. <laughs> if only Mr. Okafo knew what I'm capable of, he would never have reported me to the doctor. I told you to leave Mr. Okafo alone, didn't I? I mean, concentrate on why you're here. Ah! I will make him wish he never reported me to the doctor. Ah! Don't do anything stupid. Oh, if you yourself in a subject, you are pro quo too much. Now everything where you see, now you go to talk. Then forbid you to the keep quiet. Miliki, hey? since when? Since when did me and you turn to the colleagues that you cannot talk to me anyhow? See, eh? me, I just tell you my own. Because as I see, say, your mouth is not the thing keep quiet. Now go talk to me where you go, carry you go prison one day. Ah. What? Miliki, <laughs> your turn is coming. So, are you still feeling any pains? No, doctor. I'm feeling very fine. Okay, I'm sure you'll be good enough to go today. Well, that's after you've paid your bills. Um, okay, I'll just call a car for to come and take care of the bill. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. And um, try to stay away from junk food, okay? Yeah. And um, be careful when you're trying out new food. Okay. And for a very young girl like you, I think your studies should be of paramount importance to you instead of allowing distractions from men old enough to be your father. Just a piece of advice, okay? It's your world, anyway. Yes, Doctor. Hey, your drugs. Huh. Happy girl. Hope these drugs are not as bitter as the ones you gave me this morning. No, they are not. Okay. Um, Abigail, please, I'll need some water to get these drugs. Matilda! If you can't call me nurse Abigail, then don't bother calling me at all. Ah! Why would you be calling my name as if you were present at my naming ceremony? 
Anyways, I don't blame you. I'll send the water to you. Please do. Clinic matters. Keep watching. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> nurses, nurses. As you can see, we are, we are good. And uh, may God bless you for your care and your attention. Thank you. Um, my baby and I are grateful to the respectful and good nurses only. only. <laughs> <laughs> um, God will bless you and we will see you again some other time. Good afternoon, Miss Okapo. Shameless man. Demented he got. Will you come and say before I come there to fetch you myself? Hey. What kind of way is this? Why do you women like asking foolish questions at times? Eh? Uh -huh. uh, who is this? Were you deaf when the nurse referred to her as Mrs. Okafo? So if she is Mrs. Okafo and I am Mr. Okafo, what does that make her? Oh, 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 oh. She's your wife. Uh -huh. She is my mother's first son. Um, Mameka, please, I beg you in the name of God, I can explain this. Come here, you little brat! You are not even like you! Yes, she is, that's her name! Very well then. I will change you to Martina today. Hey, uh, Mr. Kapo, uh, take it easy now. Uh, take it easy. You should take your husband home and settle this. Please. Uh, Mameka, please, uh, please, please. Please, Mameka, just take this. I can explain all this, please. Uh. I can explain, please. Okafo, hmm? tell your madam right. or your wife or whatever you call her to leave me alone. <laughs> She's talking me. Ah. Will you shut your daughters? Right. Do you know that this man you are calling by his name has a first child that is your age mate, if not older? Exactly, yes. Eh, uh, uh, <laughs> madam, you see, I am just recovering from my newness mm. and I don't like trouble. Leave me alone. Yes. Eh? Uh, you okay. don't like trouble. Uh, uh, you uh, don't like trouble and you like getting married, man. Don't tell your husband. Uh, don't worry. Uh, we are going around the world to do our music. Mm. I wouldn't want to disturb the patient. <laughs> when unfaithful men get caught. It mm. makes me so happy. Mm. happy <laughs> what? Are you sure of that? Oh. Hey, I'm so happy. What happened? What happened? Who is this? Why do you women like asking stupid questions at times? Ah. Okafo. From, from. Okafo. Go. Why do you women like asking foolish questions at times? Eh? Uh, Kafa, who is this? Were you there when the nurse referred to her as Mrs. Okafa? So she's talking me now. Will you shut your daughter? Okafa, uh -huh. Okafa, tell your wife or your madam or whatever you call her to leave me alone. No, she is talking. She's talking me. Will you shut your daughter? Do you know that this man you are referring to by his name? He has a child that is that is that is full child that is young. Uh, going. 
And uh, what? You said you were going to make Mr. Kafo request that I brought him to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Did you tell her wife about Mr. Kafo? Serious trouble, oh! Sorry. Wife about Mr. Trouble. Hey! Did you see me make an Making any call? Yes. Absolutely. Did you see me make any call? Eh? I just like it when unfaithful men just get caught. Ah, okay. so let me take it again. Did you see me making any call? I just like it when unfaithful men get caught. It makes me so happy. 